Hi everybody, it's Mrs. Allen, and today's video we are going to be doing a science experiment. I thought that whilst we're at home, uh, we could do some science experiments that involve a little bit of time. Some things with science happen all at once, and others take a little bit of time. And I figured, well, we've all got time at the minute. So this video, we're going to be making our very own crystal garden. This is one that I made over the weekend, just to show you. Look at this. This would make Elsa jealous. We've made this all by ourselves without any magical powers. Look at that. And I'm going to show you how we can make our very own here today. So I use green food colouring in this one. I'm going to use red food colouring in ours. I'm going to make it stay with you. And then tomorrow we'll put another video on and you can see how our garden is growing. So we are going to be using something called Epsom salts for this video. So we're going to turn it from these tiny little grains of soft sand into these hard, wonderful formed crystals. But how do we do that? Well, I'm gonna use a big glass jar and I'm gonna pour in my salt and I'm gonna add in some very, very hot water. And the science here means that all of these salt crystals, they will all dissolve because the water is very, very hot. So dissolve means to disappear, basically. And as they dissolve in the hot water, they get bigger. And as they get bigger, they need more room. So they start bumping into each other. And then the more they bump into each other, as they cool, and I'm gonna cool them next, they'll get harder. And then they form these very pretty crystals. So it's kind of like at school, if a teacher says to her class, it's playtime, and they all rush off to get their coats from the cloakroom, all of those children, they all clump together in that cloakroom and they bump into each other and they become one big group. And that's kind of what happens to the crystals. So I'm going to keep mixing it. We have to mix it for quite a long time because I need all of these crystals to disappear. Can you see? I can still see lots of them in there. So we need to give them a good mix. And like I said, I'm going to put some red food colouring in so that we can see that our garden is different from the one that I made at the weekend. And then I'm going to put this in the fridge and it's going to cool down very quickly. And it's that cooling down that makes the crystals because they go from being very hot to very cold. So that's ready to go into the fridge now. And tomorrow I will come back and show you what we have managed to grow. Hopefully we'll have a beautiful garden. Here's my crystals all going red. Mix them all in. I'm going to put that in my fridge now. And tomorrow I'll upload another video and show you what our garden looks like. I think you're going to do way better than my garden. I think you're going to grow lots more beautiful crystals. But we'll come back tomorrow and we'll see what we've managed to make. See you later.